I'm Carrie. I'm an intern at the Catskill Center working on one of their programs, Chris, which stands for the Catskill Regional Invasive Species Partnership. Multiflora rose was introduced in the U.S. in the late 1800s. It was in the eastern part of the country as well as in Washington and Oregon. It had many uses. Mainly it was used as an ornamental uh, flower. It was also used for highway crash barriers, rootstock, and cover for wildlife. Multiflora rose is is very invasive in our region, mainly because it has a high tolerance to adverse environmental conditions. It's able to outcompete native species, and it's one of the main reasons why we need to control it and remove it out of our region. Multiflora rose has a few key traits that allow us to easily identify it. The main one in the summer season, especially in May, when it's in bloom, is these white to pink flowers, which you can see right here. If it is not in flower, you can look at for compound opposite leaf pattern with serrated leaves and there will generally be 5 to 11 leaflets on each compound leaf. Uh, if it's not summer, in the winter you will identify it by red berries. It will also grow up to 15 feet in height and you will see an upright arching branch structure. There are a few ways that you can control the multiflora rose. The first way would be to cut back the plant three to six times for growing season and repeat this for up to four years. So be on the lookout for multiflora rose. It's uh, heavily invading much of our region and it could be in your own backyard.